yeah, welcome back everyone. This is going to be the final cutscene as well as the credits, so there's not really much going to be much gameplay whatsoever. Uh, every character has their own set of credits. I don't know why it's that way, and Tails' butt is showing. He's just as naked as Sonic is, but he's flying free. Oh yeah, sing those words! Back! Oh yeah, I, th I thought he was gonna go back to Station Square. Oh my god, Sonic is singing! That's what it always looked like to me. Woo! And that's the end of Sonic's story. Here comes the credits! Come on, camera, focus! Thank you very much, camera! Now it should show just fine until it switches pictures again. As I've said before in my walkthroughs, I did not make the game, nor do I own the rights to it. I just make walkthroughs <clears throat> with my commentary to help people out and entertain them. So, yeah, these are credits. They move from the bottom to the top. Yeah, who knew credits did that? I mean, I've never seen credits do that in my life, in any game ever. There's also a little slideshow playing. It's going to take you through all the stages of the game. Like, there's Wind Valley right there. I don't know. It looks like Sonic's kind of sitting in midair for some reason. He's now on a rocket. And there's not really much to say about this slideshow. I mean, it's just a slideshow. But I always have a knack for being able to talk constantly about anything and anyone. So I'll just continue going on. Anyway, there's a little something. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, on Casinoopolis, see that right there? Uh, if you stand Sonic in the shower at Casinoopolis, he'll take a shower. Yeah, it's like a little Easter egg. I forgot to mention when we were at Casinoopolis, way back in, like, part three or something like that. I think it was part three. And I cut the heck out of it because it was so boring. It was just basically me uh, just playing the pinball tables. It was boring, especially with how slow those pinball tables go. And there's Ice Cap Zone. I love Ice Cap Zone, personally. A lot of people don't like ice levels, but I, I do like ice levels. They, they pose a unique challenge. I mean, ice is designed to be slippery, so it annoys you a little bit. It, but it, it provides its own unique challenge of control. You just gotta be a little more careful than you usually do. I mean, you usually are. And, uh... Wow, this song is very long, I gotta say. It's been like three minutes since the whole cutscene ending thing started, and it's still going on. Wow. I am kind of running out of things to talk about. Though there's Sonic on the back of the plane standing again, I have no idea how the, the sheer wind of him riding on the back of the plane does not flip him right off of the plane. Maybe, As I said, maybe his shoes are magnetic. I don't know, maybe his feet are buckled onto the plane, um, but I would think that it would, it would push his whole bo body back or something, you know, and then it would break his ankles or something, or that's just what I would think, but I really shouldn't be questioning the video game logic, like those sparklers in uh, Twinkle Park there, that would definitely hurt the passenger's eyes should they be riding in back of there. Yeah, and uh, running down the side of the building... Uh, that might, that may or may not be possible. I'm not sure. I mean, I've never tried it myself, nor do I think I will. But I'm not going to completely rule out the possibility that it is possible to run down a building safely without death, death occurring whenever you hit the bottom. So there's uh, a robot taking Amy away. We don't even know what that robot is yet. And, uh... There is the mountain, the lava-ish mountain. I love that mountain, I gotta say. One of my favorite stages as well. A lot of the a lot of the stages in this game. Ooh, Sky Deck! As I was gonna say, a lot of the stages in this game I like a lot. The level design is pretty good. Uh, especially Sky Deck. I love the Sky Deck. Uh, the song is coming to an end eventually, and so are the credits. Uh, I'm not complaining. All these great people made this game. I love this game. You can't go wrong with this game if you ever picked it up. I, I never really heard of anyone that absolutely hated this game. There are, there are people that didn't like it because of its quirks, like the like the glitches and the homing attack not working every time. But eh, even with its flaws, it's still a great game, in my opinion. 
Yes, created by Sonic Team. Not PK Gam, not PK Gam. I'm not claiming it as my own. Presented by Sega. I just do the walkthrough for fun and entertainment, as I said before. And uh, that does it for Sonic's side of the story. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'm going to start Tales of Story some other day, so I'm just going to end it here. <gasps> Finn, like a fish. See you then. Oh, you get an emblem too. Doodle. -doo.